think I know a lot of people that have used this as a, as a reason not to run. They say it's really bad for your knees. Oh man, that gets me so mad, right? I mean, I hear this from doctors all the time, right? Oh yeah, running is bad for your knees. Now it is true that knee injuries are the most common running injuries. Um, your knees. Now it is true that knee injuries are the most common running injuries. The other thing about running is that I think a lot of people run incorrectly today. So people who are barefoot often, more often than not, land on the ball of their foot and then, then let their heel down, showing that when you do that, you actually prevent your foot from crashing into the ground, causing collisional force. So if you were to take your shoes off and run up Lexington Avenue here, I guarantee you, you would not be landing on your heels. Bef within a few steps, you'd start landing on the ball of your foot because it hurts less. Yep. And, the, and that, that causes less f force around your knee. Um, the trade-off, though, because nothing comes for free, everything has trade-offs, is that it's harder on your ankles. Your calf muscles and your Achilles have to do now a lot more work to let your heel down. And so people who switch from heel striking to forefoot striking often have Achilles tendon problems, they get calf muscle problems. If they don't do it properly, they'll get, if their foot muscles aren't strong enough, they'll get all kinds of foot problems, right? Another thing people do is they tend to run like a ballerina high up on their toes. That's really hard on your ankles and your calves. So you benefits. And so, and we know, again, if you run that way, this put, puts much less force on your knees. And again, knees are where people get injured the most. So I think a lot of knee injuries come from, um, um, from the way in which we run.